Yeah. Uh, let's say bad. And you might get rich back. Well, the, the thing that, that, oh, a couple of things I got in trouble for, uh, it wasn't a bad thing. It was just a silly thing. I was, uh, one thing, they had great big tobacco poles on the outside of the barn, and one of them, uh, I was going to teeter-totter on that big, big, big pole that was almost as big and heavy as a phone pole. Not quite that big, but it was heavy. It had to hold a lot of tobacco, and that, that gets weighty when it's before it dries out. Yeah. And um, I, was, <laughs> I was up on, on that thing, and it slipped off, and I was left high and dry way up on top of it and the other end was down and I didn't have enough weight on me to get it back down to the point where I could get off. I was on it way up high <laughs> and I had I had to call I think I think one of mom's brothers was at the house. That's when we were living with grandpa after my daddy died. And um, uh, I had to, I think, uh, I, I think it was my uncle, yeah, my, my mother's brother. He was living with grandpa too. He hadn't married yet. And uh, he had to come and get me off that pole. But boy, I because mom was in the house and I don't know where grandpa was he's out tilling the ground I guess <laughs> and, uh, uh, so my uncle had to get me off that pole so I, I got in trouble over that but uh, it, it wasn't horrible <laughs> but, uh, but that, that's some of the things you do on the farm we you know, when we get up, we had the run of the farm. The only thing we had to look after was snakes. We had to look out for rattlesnakes and copperheads because they were, they were dangerous. And we had black snakes too, but they weren't dangerous. Yeah. Mom, Mom liked those because the black snakes would stay around the barn and eat, eat the mice and rats that got into the corn crib <laughs> and made a mess of it. But, um, so that's that's one thing I did, and then another, another time, uh, my uncle, I was out seeing what he was doing, and he was working around the chimney, um, uh, and it was just uh, rocks. The chimney was just rocks, and then it was uh, had some kind of a plaster in between the rocks, but it was mud. And it wasn't real sturdy, like cement or something. Yeah. And it, it was getting loose in places, and some bumblebees had gotten into the holes. And uh, I saw them buzzing around there, but uh, I asked my uncle, I said, um, what would happen if I stuck my finger in the hole? <laughs> he said, I don't know, but if you want to try it, go ahead and stick it in there. I think I did, but I didn't get I didn't get stung. I don't don't think. I think he pulled it out before a bumblebee got got after me and stung my finger, and I would have been hurt and crying probably. So that's two things I did. Uh, yeah. That, that were uh, weren't real naughty, but they were just kids kids stuff. You know what kids do, and you're young and you don't know any better. Yeah. And what, one thing I did do that was bad, my sister and I, one time, mom told us not to do something, and I think we did it anyway, and we were, uh, we were mad at her or something, so we took the jar of peanut butter way up on the hill by the spring, uh, you know, behind a tree or something so she couldn't see us, and she and I ate that whole, the rest of that jar of peanut butter with our fingers, so my mother couldn't have any. <laughs> so that's that's being mad at your mom when you eat up the peanut butter. Yeah. She's supposed to have too. So that was some kid stuff that I yeah. did, and I remember the peanut butter because 
we were mad at mom for some reason. She told us we couldn't go swimming or something. And, and when we went swimming in the creek, we didn't have bathing suits, but we had old clothes. Hey, Grandma, uh, tell me a funny story about mom. About your mother. Oh, okay, yes. When she was little, yes. Let me, let me, let me think of something. Um, oh, I, you know what? When she, believe it or not, when she was younger, she was afraid. She was afraid to call on the phone and by herself and see what time a movie began or something so she and her friends could go over to the, that's when we lived in New Jersey and she was she was so afraid to call on the phone and find out what what the movie began that's one thing we remember about her being so uh, being so uh, afraid of people doing doing something wrong, you know. And, but she was she was a good student, and um, uh, and the teachers all liked her. And as you could tell by the way, she she worked hard and and went went to college when they came out after they married and came out to California. She and she and Mark they both went on to, so grandma to what you gotta go no no yeah did mom yeah. ever like lose a child did what mom lose a child oh a child let me think there's something else she she was always pretty good uh, Teresa Teresa did something she uh, but I that will be a some story for mom. Yeah. Well, your mom, well, your mom was pretty good. I, she when she she got to be a teenager, she she was a little more rascally, uh, you know, than uh, when she was uh, when she was younger because she was pretty 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 good kid when she was younger. Because she was a good student and uh, and her teachers all liked her, but uh, she ne she never did too much around home that I know of. I know Teresa when she was young, she brought home from school one of the play toys, uh, like like a teddy bear or something like that. And I said, Teresa, that did not belong to you, and. You know, we had, we had had her take it back, but mm -hmm. she was brought it home. She just thought she could do that, and that was that was a no no. <laughs> mm -hmm. Let me think of something else. Oh, uh, uh, well, uh, when she and your da dad dad when she and Mark met, they they were much in love in their senior year, and they they had lots of dates, but little money to enjoy themselves so I don't think they did a whole lot uh, uh, without without money you know was, uh, Mark wasn't working I think he was in his first year of college in New York someplace and uh, Joanne was in her senior year and uh, so uh, I think he was a little ahead of her but um, uh she she was a pretty pretty good kid, uh, you know. Uh, I'm trying to think if she did any little little tricks. Uh, she she might have tried to stay out too late one night. And we we had to go get her <laughs> at her girlfriend's house. She she stayed over and she was supposed to be home so. I took the car and drove over and got her, I think. <laughs> so she she did stuff like that. She 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 didn't uh, keep her time time frame uh, when she got to be in junior high, you know. That's that's when you think you're grown up. <laughs> but uh, oh and then then she started dating Mark in her, like I say, in her senior year, and it was, it was 
love, love, love. love. So as soon as they graduated one week and got married the next week and took off for California. And uh, <laughs> so oh. they didn't, um, yeah. of course, they came back east uh, for your dad's different kind of work he had. And uh, for a house in oh, Carolina, I, I think. And uh, that was nice. I visited him there. Yeah. And, uh, um, and then I visited them at their apartment someplace, and they had to bring a mattress in for me to sleep on, and they couldn't get the mattress through the door, and they had to kind of bring it up through the window <laughs> downstairs or something. <laughs> but they managed, and we had fun. But, uh, yeah, they... Um, they worked hard and they went to school then and then it was then it was business all the funny stuff was over after <laughs> high school you know <laughs> they they were home and they didn't have mom and dad but uh, they made it both of them so I, i'm glad about that they were just kids growing up that's all so if i think if i think of some else michael that she did that was funny or uh, uh stuff i'll i'll give you a call I, but uh, I, I think she was i think she was pretty good and and priest of the one thing bringing that teddy bear home and your mom just staying out to me when she was she was a, a teenager dating your dad <laughs> just just stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, she, her teacher, I never found anything wrong with her, her school, you know, to junior high. Was she ever diagnosed? Did she? What? She told me one time she had to stay in a psych hospital. What was oh. that about? Oh, yeah. I, I, I forget, Mike. Oh, my goodness. I have to, I have to think think my head real hard and uh, think up of some of these things and I might ask her what she got in trouble for and uh, then she'll, she'll remind me she'll know <laughs> and then I'll, then I'll tell you okay All right, then, cool. you can, then you can kid her about it when you see her alright cool uh, yeah when I talk to her I'll ask her and uh, she'll know and we'll We'll get some dirt on her, and then you can you can tell her about it when you come then. Okay? Oh yeah. All right. Thanks. Okay, all right. Well, you take care, and you have a good evening, and God bless you, and I can't wait to see you. Okay. Okay. okay Love honey. you. Love yeah. you. Love you too, honey. Bye bye.